Coming up on Look Today, a popular gun show at the Saratoga City Center is met with protests. Our cameras are on the scene. Plus, debate continues over the dewatering facility in Fort Edward. I've got the latest. And the cold weather didn't keep people from walking in Lake George to benefit lung cancer research. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson, and here's a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, well, with the recent slate of gun violence throughout the nation, the topic of gun control has once again become the topic of discussion. And that discussion was front and center at the Saratoga Springs City Center this past weekend as they hosted the 100th Arms Fair. A small group of protesters from Saratogians for Gun Safety stood outside with signs. One of the members said that they found Friday's ribbon cutting disgraceful. Event organizer David Petronas spoke with Look Today about the protesters. I thought it was a public location where we can just come in and uh, pay our rent and uh, we can do our thing. But evidently they feel that it was their city center and they don't want shows here. Petronas said that he has already signed a contract for three more shows at the city center. The next one will be in January. Now, what are your thoughts on gun shows? Should they be allowed in publicly owned buildings? You can share your thoughts with us by heading to our Facebook and Twitter pages. And please contact us. We want to know what you think about this. Changing from news to weather. Well, temperatures dipped well below freezing during the overnight hours last night. But how's the week shaping up for the latest? Let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Back to the news. Well, despite the chilly weather, hundreds of people took in some fresh air this past weekend. But the event was called Free to Breathe, a 5K run walk that raises funds to benefit lung cancer research. Now, the race was organized by the Hogan family who lost a family member to the disease. Our family um, that has put this on, this fundraiser on, um, gathering all these people together to commemorate people and, and also to honor them, the ones that are fighting and the ones that have lost the fight. The Hogan family hopes to double the amount of money raised for research by 2022. Lung cancer, by the way, is deadlier than breast, prostate, and colon cancer combined. Wow. Also in the news. Well, many are hoping that GE continues to dredge for PCBs or at least leaves the facilities in place. Others are happy they're leaving. For the residents that live near the dewatering facility in Fort Edward, they went to sleep and woke up to the sounds of the dewatering facility for nearly seven years. Well, GE finished dredging a couple of weeks ago, and for the first time in a while, those residents heard nothing. Former Fort Edward Supervisor Merrill Povell Multhrop has asked Washington County Supervisors to pass a resolution to close the plant. And the board received the request at the last minute during its meeting and did not vote on it. Many supervisors said they would like to hear from experts and have time to debate the subject. We will update you on this story as it develops. Well, in sports, the last week of the high school football regular season included a big rivalry. In Class B, the Glens Falls Indians played the Hudson Falls Tigers in the jug game. Glens Falls came out firing after losing to Schuylerville last week. Well, the Indians were looking to reclaim the jug after losing it last year. The Indians would end up with a 49-7 victory. Now, Glens Falls will be the number two seed in the playoffs and host Lansingburg on Saturday. Hudson Falls will travel to Chalmont on Friday. Well, still to come, Director of Saratoga County's Veterans Service Agency, Frank McClement is here. He's going to talk about the revolutionary run at Fort Hardy Park in Schuylerville. Plus, the Gateway House of Peace is holding a gala in November. And Joni Hanchett and Patty Veach join us to discuss the event, which is going to happen at Longfellows. But first, if you see news happening, 
You want to share a story idea? How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.